Well, right now, as we look from our Fort Lauderdale camera, we're seeing some clouds and yes, some rain out there. I warned you about this yesterday. The fact that it would be a soggy commute for many as of this morning, we're still dealing with lingering showers soaking parts of Deerfield Beach, a lighthouse point, as well as Pompano Beach, Margate, Parkland, and a lot of rain up in Palm Beach County. Right now, we're seeing showers in Oakland Park, Lauderdale by the sea, Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale Lakes, Plantation, Village Park, Port Everglades, as well as Aventura, Cooper City. And thankfully, now Miami-Dade County is starting to dry out and get a break, but the roads are wet. Give yourself extra time. Here are some of the highest rainfall totals since midnight, and you can see in Fort Lauderdale over by Arthur Ashe Middle School, nearly three inches of rain. And Sunrise, Coral Springs, Plantation, about two inches of rain. So yeah, we had some torrential downpours overnight. Winds are calm in Miami and Homestead and variable elsewhere, ranging from three to five miles per hour across the Keys, 6 to 18 miles per hour where we're seeing the rain in Broward County. A little cooler inland with Kendall and Homestead enjoying the upper 60s, however milder near the coast in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, low 70s and low 70s down across the Keys. So we do have a frontal boundary that's going to continue to lift northward today. You can see 50s across parts of North Florida and if you're going to be traveling uh, to visit family, friends, grandma for the holiday, you can see you're going to likely need your jacket, your coat. We're seeing widespread 30s and 40s across the northeast, the northern tier of the country, even the 40s down into Atlanta, 39 in Memphis, 50s and 60s in Texas, as well as in California, 40s in the Pacific Northwest, and likely going to be dealing with delays here in California and the Pacific Northwest due to a storm system bringing some rain and snow. Also dealing with some wet and wintry weather across the central portions of the U.S., especially the northern plains. Uh, for us, we're going to deal with the chance for those scattered showers throughout the day today. Although it looks like we're going to see a break here as we head into the lunchtime hour into the afternoon. Maybe could see some spotty showers overnight, though, could see some more wet weather. And then tomorrow it's looking a bit drier for all those final preps for Turkey Day. But around the afternoon hours, there could be some showers here and there for today. 84 degrees, a bit warmer, sun and clouds, scattered showers with that southeast breeze, a high risk of rip currents, dangerous swimming conditions, continuing a small craft advisory for boaters. And tonight will remain unsettled with low 70s and passing showers heavy in spots so it looks like there could be some rain around for turkey day and some passing storms for black friday it's not until we get into sunday a cold front will arrive to bring us some cooler air let's get a check of your traffic right now